Families who lost loved ones due to diluted cancer drugs given out by former Casey pharmacist Robert Courtney are now praising lawmakers for stepping in to stop the early release. Robert Courtney is set to be released this morning, seven years early. We talked with Wes Thompson, whose wife Sarah died due to the drugs Courtney gave her. According to Wes, she died of cancer in 1999 after receiving the after receiving the diluted drugs from Courtney. Wes Thompson credits Senator Josh Hawley's office for getting involved immediately after learning Courtney would be released. Within minutes of him getting that info, his office responded back to me, and they have been full throttle working on this until today. And I, it, it's not done, but I think they stopped it. Senator Hawley released this statement via Twitter. The Department of Justice informed me this morning they will not release Courtney from imprisonment. That is the right call. COVID-19 should not be an opportunity at jailbreak for violent offenders. Thompson also told us today he was furious about the news of an early release because he was not given a heads up from the Bureau of Prisons. And he says Courtney needs to stay in prison for his entire sentence. I, I just think it's the right thing being done. Um, ultra simplistic, but that is what it is. He signed a plea agreement to stay in jail for 30 years with no possibility of parole. He should stay in jail for 30 years with no possibility of parole. That's what he signed up for. Last night, we talked with another woman whose aunt died from cancer after getting drugs from Robert Courtney. Tonight, she tells us she's also grateful lawmakers stepped in. Party aside, came together as a group and just for Kansas City and Missouri just saying, no, this is wrong and we can't do that. And um, just thank you. I mean, you've given a peace of mind to a lot of people who, off, you know, obviously don't feel like this sentence is long enough. Today, Missouri Governor Mike Parson said Courtney is a sick guy who doesn't need to be back on the street.